A local community is reeling after the loss of a longtime doctor at Brandon Regional Hospital. He died this weekend from COVID-19 complications. Thank you for joining us at 11. I'm Isabel Rosales. ABC Action News reporter McKenna King talks exclusively with family on the life of this local icon. Dr. Sam Scalaro was in the high risk category himself at 75 years old, but his family says up until the day he tested positive for COVID-19, he was here treating patients. He did the telemedicine things when the COVID started and they did do a lot of screening on patients before they came into their office, um, but he really preferred to have his patients in front of him. He was a doctor for more than 48 years. He never, never cared ever about. introduced himself as Dr. Scalaro. Ever. Mm -mm. He just introduced himself. Hi, I'm Sam Scalaro. Sam Scalaro grew up in Ybor City and as a founding doctor of Brandon Regional Hospital, he dedicated his life to serving patients right here at home. He made a promise to God that he would serve his patients until the day he died. So he would never retire. He would just do it to the day he died. And I think he did. Ultimately, it was that selfless service the Scalaro family believes ended his life. He tested positive for COVID-19 on June 25th the day of Sam and Janie's 53rd wedding anniversary. He procrastinated going to the hospital. He did. And he told me, Janie, I don't want to go to the hospital because I don't think I'm going to come home if I do. Then on the 4th of July, Sam's oxygen levels dropped. And after more than a month of treatment and ups and downs, he died Friday from complications due to COVID-19. Sad to me that here's a man who dedicated his life to helping others stay healthy. And while he was doing that, he got sick himself and all he thought about while he was sick was getting better so he could help other people not get sick like he did. A loss the entire community is mourning as they rally around the Scolaro family to remember the good memories. You'll never forget that and those always stay close to your heart but I'll miss my dad because I every day I feel like a broken compass. Like, I don't know where to go without him and share his dying wish. He just wished that the medical community in general would come and talk and speak more to do more for for the patients in general to explain what the disease is and what the treat what treatments are what the treatment options are so people don't have fear in Brandon McKenna King ABC Action News